What is up, y'all? It is Friday evening. I have my TV on loud because I'm gonna leave right now. But we are on our way to see John Ramirez. I told you guys in the last vlog um, that we were gonna go for two days. We're not, we're going, cause it's close. So we're going, coming home, going, coming home. I'm super excited. If you guys have not seen his testimony, go and watch it. But I'm excited to see what God has in store for us. And yeah, so Anthony is on his way and um, hopefully I can get some footage of him and or picture something. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> I've been following, following him for a while, so it'll be pretty cool to to see him teach live. So we'll see what happens. We'll see you guys later. I see people come into the kingdom and say, I remember I, I was in a Patricia King uh, thing I went to see, and I did a show with her, I did two shows with Patricia King, a wonderful lady. And, uh, and Right now, right now, right now, right now, Father, right now, for my, for my sister, right now, for the crown of her head, set her free. Set her free. What's up, y'all? It is the, the next day. Um... I just want to talk about a little bit about um, yesterday night. Let me go to the table because I'm not going to be holding this phone forever. Okay. Um, so uh, last night, um, service started at 7 and it's about 45 minutes away. It took us like about 40, about half an hour. Anthony was driving like crazy. Um, but it's up the mountain so it's like vroom, vroom, vroom. and it's only like 40 minutes away from here and we found the church and everything really nice church um and service started at seven we got there close to seven it was probably like about gosh maybe 6 45 or 6 50 something like that and it wasn't that packed yet and um, so our friend uh, was there to meet us and then um, two other friends came later on. And um, so we seen John Ramirez, which was really cool. And uh, I wanted to take a picture, but I guess he was gonna do it after. But I was like, after I was just so tired, I didn't even, I, I just wanna come home. <laughs> but today's another day. So hopefully we can get a picture and stuff like that. But. It was really good. If you guys don't know who John Ramirez is, um, he works in deliverance um, and he is a ex um, Satanist. Uh, he, he used to worship the devil. He was a high ranking priest in the satanic church and he just has an awesome ministry. And, you know, I, he's, he's told us things that, that, you don't hear on on the um youtube channels i mean i haven't seen all of his youtube videos so but i have seen a, a majority of them and he has said things yesterday that um that's my ice maker <laughs> that i didn't know you know and it's it's crazy you know so we learned you know about deliverance and um you know we his experiences and stuff like that and and so, you know, it start, the church starts filling up and everything and, you know, different walks of life come in and stuff like that. And, and so like after you, like, he talks a lot, like he really does. Like I was telling my mom, like he ended like three times. <laughs> he was like, okay, um, as I close one more thing before I close, you know, and then three times later, you know, then he closed, but when he closed and it was altar call. So um, he had an altar service and um, altar call service. And then, uh, and demons were manifesting. They were manifesting. If you guys don't know about that stuff, you know, maybe um, I could talk about it, you know, in another video, but you know, they were manifesting and, and they were coming out. People were coughing it up and, and sneezing it out and, 
and everything and and it's it's something to see you know because um you know people house demons people house demons and now it wasn't a possession there was nobody possessed they were just housing a demonic spirit um and i can get into that on another another video but um it was interesting to see because i when i got baptized when i was 15 i seen that stuff in the church but not a lot like i remember there was this girl a, a young girl and she came in and they said that she had a demon and i didn't i didn't understand all what i think about when i hear that is like the exorcist so, you know my 15 year old self was looking at her like don't look at me you know but i didn't know i don't i don't i didn't understand i didn't know anything about that stuff and it wasn't taught to us and um so now coming into you know an adult and going back to serve the lord you know you you learn and, and you you see things differently and and you see things you know you see demons manifest and i remember in the church that i used to go to um uh that happened one time and and i believe that either she was housing something or she had a, a possession you know because I remember I was just like looking. It was the first time that I seen it as an adult, and she was just like rolling everywhere and and everything and and like screaming and all this stuff. And I'm like, what is going on? You know. So, but you know, as you grow in Christ and and as as you mature and and you read and and you pray, you understand you know different things and and what it means and and how they operate and stuff like that and. So last night, you know, when it was happening, I was like, I was telling Anthony, I go, it was like he did it so, so smooth. <laughs> like he said, he was trying to manifest and come out and they were coming out, you know, and, and, and it was just like, wow, like that's, that's, it's amazing, you know? And so tonight is, so we didn't get out of there and we didn't get home till midnight. So we, I think it was like 11, 11. 30 and it was done and then by the time we get down you know from the mountain uh it was it was like after a little after midnight so to, today starts at four which is in two hours in two hours um but minus you know 45 minutes but we're gonna try to get there a little early to get a, a good seat um and it's the first session and then at six we break for dinner i guess they're gonna feed us i don't know what they're gonna feed us but they're gonna feed us and then we go back at seven for session two and hopefully it won't last till midnight <laughs> but it's so cool you know he's he's really blunt he's raw he is he has no filter you know i've never spoken to a new yorker because he's from new york he was born and brought up in the bronx and i've never i've seen them on tv but i've never spoken to a new yorker and talk about being so blunt he was blunt and i mean he would call you i mean things that you know we're like okay you just don't say that like he says there's <laughs> certain that he said i'm like oh my gosh like this man is a trip you know it's funny it is so funny you know but it's like he has jokes you know but but he, he's just he has no filter you know and and when i hear him talk and i i hear him say stuff like that i'm like yeah that's that's how it is on tv you know like how, that's how the people are on tv they have no filter like they're just gonna tell you the way it is and i'm just like that's crazy it was hilarious you you have to have a sense of humor to be around somebody like that like you can't take him if he says something to you about you you can't take him like you can't take it to heart basically you know and so um but yeah it was really good and um so hopefully today we can get a picture with him i actually want to buy one of his books we do have some of his books but i want to buy one that we don't have and um yeah so i'm super excited i'm super excited um so anthony should be here pretty soon and um i'm probably gonna get some 
ice water and so that we can take uh, with us to go. So I guess I'll see you guys over there. I'll try to get some clips. Um, I don't really wanna vlog inside because I just feel like, you know, like it's personal, you know, for others and, and, and yeah, it's just, I don't know. I, that's how I feel, but I'll try. I'll try to get something in there. I'll even um, maybe get him to say something on my vlog channel. Um, I didn't even think about that. Maybe, maybe I can um, have him on here. So um, let's hope. <laughs> But yeah, but uh, I hope you guys are doing good. Um, hopefully, I'll remember to vlog going up the road and I'll show you guys like the church and stuff and, and how it looks and everything. It's really nice inside, really cute. It's small. It's it's like it's hidden, you know, in the, in the woods. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll see you guys later. All right, y'all. Picked up the husband. Good morning. What's up, you guys? It is to Monday morning. No, I was gonna say Tuesday. Um, uh, we, going to we are going to breakfast with my brother and sister-in-law and my mom. He's taking me out for my birthday. Um, I legit slept probably like three hours, maybe. Not me. I slept like five. I could. I put. I was playing my game, and it was two o'clock in the morning. And then I had to get. A, I set my alarm for six forty-five. But even when I um, put my switch away, I was still tossing and turning. I was telling Anthony I was going to pull an all-nighter. <laughs> I'm like. I have to go to sleep. Go, go. Like, I have to go to sleep. But I'm good. Had my coffee. And we're going to go eat. And then after, we're going to go to Dick's Sporting Goods. Because we're going to look for a canopy. And maybe a sleeping bag. I'm just going to see if I can find one for cheap. Um, but, yeah. So, um, I'll probably close out this vlog today. I do want to talk a little bit more about... Um, John Ramirez and our experiences and stuff and so we'll talk about that later so I will talk to you guys later later Bye. good morning you guys I'm gonna end this vlog out I haven't had a chance to end it out a happy heart makes a face cheerful Proverbs 15, 13. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to end out this vlog, but before I do, oh, let me change this because I don't want to get copyrighted. You know how well that goes. Um, so, okay, recap on this vlog. So on Saturday, um, I'll, I'll even tell you guys a story. Um, on Saturday, um, hold on one second. On Saturday, we, um, it started at, th at three, at four. So it started at four and, um, we left here, I think like about 2.30. I think it was about 2.30 or two, something like that. I think, no, 2.30 maybe. 
and we got there we were the first ones there. we were the first ones there in the parking lot <clears throat> but um like right after we parked two car more car loads came and um somebody got off to see if the church was open so um i looked and it was open i it's on let's get off so we get off and stuff and we got our seats and everything the seats that we wanted and um and then our friends came and everything and and uh then john ramirez came and uh as you guys seen we were we were in line with him for for dinner and uh, we talked to him and and we took a picture with him i'll post it if i haven't already um but yeah it was so cool but you know he talked he was he's like i told you he uh he worked he's an evangelist and he works in deliverance you know and um <clears throat> so you know he taught about deliverance and he taught you know about the things that he's went through and the things that have happened now a lot of the stuff like i think i've said i don't know if i said here or if i told somebody but a lot of the stuff like i haven't heard because you know different stories come up at different times you know when when people talk and everything and so um you know he he would tell us you know what he used to do as far as like in witchcraft and stuff like that and and um and then he would you know tell us like um that the, the how the enemy works like the tactics of the enemy you know he he explains all that stuff you know and and just it was just a bunch of information you know and it was really good really good you know and and i was telling anthony you know the way that he that he does deliverance because he did do deliverance the days that you know he was there like it just came so easy you know and the thing about deliverance is you know you're you're dealing with a demonic spirit spirits and so you know a, a lot of people are are scared you know a lot of people are scared to to do deliverance on on people you know but you know us as christians you know we have to understand that we have the power of god within us and and we have god on our side you know so these little demons you know they need to get up and out you know and we can't be afraid to we can't be afraid to to cast out any demon we're christians that's what we're our, that's what we're supposed to do deliverance is not just for a certain group of people it's for everybody like you're a christian like if you see someone that has a demon in them like you need to, if they want it out you need to help them and cast it out you know you can't just let the demon just house in there you know because then they're they're constantly going to be tormented you know and pray for discernment you know so you can call those demons out you know so it was really good a lot of information um you know of different realms and you know the demonic realm you know the heavenly realms and and just more in depth of of how the enemy works you know not that we're glorifying the enemy because we're not it's just we need to be equipped we need to learn about it we need to know what we're coming up against we need to know what we're dealing with you know we know god's great we know that he's amazing we know what god has done well if you haven't read your word you won't know but if you've read your word you're you're gonna know if you pray you're gonna know you know <clears throat> it's just equipping us you know we're getting ready you get when you get ready for a game or you get ready for, if you're in war you know you get ready for battle you equip yourself so you start getting ready you start learning you start preparing and that's basically what these these classes are um and so you know we can't be scared you know what one thing i was telling anthony you know it's like you know when we think of well i'll speak for myself when i think of demons you know you think of what hollywood makes them okay and that's not what it is it's not what it is okay first of all demons do not have a body because they are spirit so so when they house in you they're using you they're using your body so so they don't have a body so all these scary things that that hollywood makes them out to be that what what we what what we what i i'm speaking for myself sorry guys what i think out to be like the ugly you know the ugly um gosh what's a good ugly character um 
gosh. Okay, the okay, the first thing is the ring or the grudge, you know. No, a demon does not look like that. So <clears throat> there the okay, the best way I could put it to you guys is my mentor. She taught me this. She's like, okay, just think of these little chickens. She goes, think of these little chickens. She goes, you know how they peck, 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 peck. She goes, and think that they're just pecking at your feet and they're annoying. It's annoying. You know, that's how these demons are. They're little, like little chickens. They have no power and they're just annoying you. And that's how they are. So it's like, come on, little chicken demon, <laughs> like get out. Like, plus we serve a mighty God. And what does the Bible say? The Bible says that we are going to tread on, on serpents and scorpions and we're not going to get hurt. So <clears throat> not literally tread on them okay you got you can't take it literal um but that's how much power god gives us he gives us his power and and how we get that power is he died on the cross for us you know and, and we're covered by the blood of jesus you know so don't think that that the team is going to jump anywhere you know or jump on you or anything that, that's not going to happen you know and so obviously you know if if you're interested you need to learn more about it you know and and if you're not a Christian, if you're not living right, don't go and try to cast out demons. <laughs> Do not. And, and maybe I could talk about that more in a Jesus and Coffee, which I have not done. <laughs> maybe today, maybe today I'll, I will do one. Um, but yeah, so it was really good. John Ramirez, he's so down to earth. He is hilarious. He is raw. He just, okay, so let me tell you a story when we were there. Um, there's these, there's these two girls that, that walked in. Okay. And two girls that walked in and I'm just going to tell you, I, I wasn't judging. Okay. But one of them was tall, blonde, um, had extensions, um, lips out to here. You can tell she had plastic surgery, boobs out to here, butt out to there her dress was literally under her butt okay her friend um and of course makeup nails out to here and they were pointy and red i mean claws <laughs> and her friend she had a low cut top boobs out to here you know um her hair was down here she had a long skirt short top makeup you know and they sat right in front of us and i just didn't I it I didn't feel right in my spirit. And I'm like, because, okay, one thing about John Ramirez, if you hear John Ramirez, he will say, witches do come to his conferences, you know, because he's, he's an ex-Satanist and, you know, they want to put curses on him because he's obviously on the other side now. So I was like, okay, like, I, I, I know what I feel, you know, and, you know, I'm just... I'm just going to keep on with, you know, the conference and stuff. And so later on, um, when he called, um, people who wanted to get prayed for, um, they went up there and the girl, after he got, you know, after he was praying for some people that he, he got to those girls and the blonde one, um, he asked her, he goes, um, you know, uh, how, how do you, um, are you, are you guys friends? And, and they, she was like, yeah. She goes, we work together. And then he goes, oh, you work together? And then she he, she goes, yeah. And then he goes, well, what do you guys do? And then she goes, we do massages. And then he, this, is how, this is how blunt he is, okay? Mind you, he's from New York. So those New Yorkers, you know, they don't care. Like some of them don't care what you say or think or nothing. And then he goes, oh, he goes, he goes what do you guys do? Those Freaky Friday massages? <laughs> Oh my gosh and she was like no and then he goes he goes he goes oh you don't do the freaky friday massages because you know the way they looked i mean come on you see you see someone looks like that you think like whoa like yeah um so so she's like no she goes we heal people and all this on the, is on the microphone okay and then he, he was like you heal people and then he goes what do you mean you heal people and then he goes, she goes, she goes, we heal people. She goes, he goes, she goes, well, God heals people. And then, um, 
and so he was like okay he goes yeah god does heal people he and then she goes yeah well but god uses me to heal people and he was like okay you know so he prayed for them that was that was friday so then come saturday um he had told us a story about this um witch that came to his conference and he, he knew she was a witch and um so she gave him an offering she gave him a hundred dollar bill and he grabbed it excuse me he grabbed it and he gave it to one of the people in from church and then he goes here here's lunch on me he goes because he goes i gave it to that person he goes because i knew that she cursed that and it was for me and not for him so whatever what, that hundred dollars was just a hundred dollars when it when it reached him but for me it was a curse so i remembered that so the next day which was the saturday i guess she brought her husband the the blonde girl and she brought her friend and um so it was time for you know him to pray for people again so then i seen i didn't know it was her husband until later so i seen the two friends you know they went up there and then there was a a guy in back of of john ramirez and so he prayed for for the girls and then no he prayed for no he prayed for the guy so he was praying for the guy and she was in back of John Ramirez and she was like this and you know you see her long old fingernails and she was like this and, you know she was praying and I'm just like Lord I pray that you know she's praying you know and no cursing and nothing like that you know because she was literally in back of John Ramirez and so um then he turned around and he started praying for her and he goes he goes is that your husband and then she goes yeah and she said something we didn't hear uh, but he rebuked her and he was like everyone needs mercy so i'm thinking she said like lord have mercy on him or she said something like he needs mercy or, i don't know he said something because he rebuked her and he was like everyone needs mercy you need mercy i need mercy and he was just like going in on her right and then so he prayed for her <clears throat> and in the in the first and, and friday he kind of called everything out that she had he called everything out which i'm not going to repeat but he called everything out that she had and so um he was praying for her and then so after she got prayed for like she was just they were just standing there and so i was like okay well maybe she's waiting for her friend and or her husband so then um she she was just standing there and then she she walked back and then um her and her friend and then she she walked back up front and it was just her, her husband and her friend so they were just standing there. i'm like why are you standing there i'm thinking to myself why are they standing there because you know when you get prayed for you you go back to your seat you know but they went back and they were just waiting like they were just standing i'm like what are they doing you know so then she hands them this, she hands them this envelope and it had money in it because those were the 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 giving envelopes and he grabbed it and he gave it to the guy and i was like i knew it i knew she was a witch i knew it and he grabbed it and then she said something and the guy gave it back and he goes we're just gonna bless the church and she was saying something to him and he goes he goes we're just gonna we're just blessing the church and she gave it to the pastor and i was like oh my gosh like it's crazy it's crazy you know it, it's you you need discernment to know this stuff you know and you pray the that the lord gives you discernment you know and you have to and the crazy thing is that she had like her her sweater she was wearing a sweater and it had something about god and god saves and something like that but you know what witches can be in the church and witches can use that that as a conversation piece you know and and you know somebody who doesn't know like oh you know you go to church or you no know, like it could just start up a conversation and she could just easily persuade them to come in but i'm just like man like it's crazy it was just crazy i was like i knew it and i told after they go i told you i go i told you so it was really good um i thought that he he lived in new york still he actually lives in orange county um 
but he still has a home in New York. But yeah, it was it was so cool. We were talking to him. He was in line, like I said, he was in line with us. We were talking about pizza. We were talking about um, uh, food here because cause they had served us tri-tip and rice pilaf and bread and salad. So he was like, because the, the, one of the ladies was like, um, I don't know if I said it on here already, but uh, one of the ladies came to him and she was like, how do you like your tri-tip? Do you like your, you know, rare, medium rare? He was like, what's tri-tip? And I'm like, I know that they don't, they don't really barbecue in New York and stuff like that. So I, we were just kind of like, and Anthony was like, it's like this. And he goes, I'll try it, you know? And then, so we went, <laughs> we were serving ourselves. And then he goes, what is this? And it was ciabatta bread. And I go, it's ciabatta bread. And he goes, you want it? And I go, okay. <laughs> So he just was kind of like out of his element as far as like food and stuff like that. But I go, well, I go, you live in oh, you live in OC. I go, you're gonna hear a lot about tri tip. I go, so you should just try it now, you know. And he was like, yeah. He goes, I I should, you know. And so he was really down to earth, really nice, really genuine, raw. Like I said, hilarious. But we had a good time, and I would love to go and see him again. Um, <clears throat> I know he's gonna be in Glendale. I don't think we're gonna go to that one, but if he ever comes over here again or close, you know, then maybe we'll go see them again. But yeah, it was good. We learned a lot and God revealed things to me within myself where I'm just like, I didn't even, I didn't even know that about myself. I didn't even think about that about myself. And maybe I'll share um, in a Jesus and coffee, but, um, yeah, this is already 18 minutes, the ending. Um, but I am just going to end this vlog out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. If you guys have any questions about anything, please leave them in the comments. And I will do my best to um, answer you guys. Uh, and yeah, so I hope you guys have a great rest of the week. And I will see you guys later.